gaming nerd. Today we're going to be talking about a new location concept that I made myself. Um, so yeah, it's called Feasty Foes. So basically what this is, is the location for Fortnite. Um, and it has a lot of cool features to it. So if you enjoy it, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the gaming yard, and let's jump straight into this. So, um, Feasty Foes, right? It's, a, it's basically a castle right in the middle, and then 12 houses around the castle. And it's shaped more like Pleasant Park, so like where the soccer field is, um, around there, like a bit more to the right, would be where the castle is. And it spawns the awesome G gun that we made a video on yesterday, so go check that out if you haven't already. And used by the feasty foes, so the henchmen basically, who guard the place and also is spawns by floor loot rarely. Now if you didn't see our awesome G gun video yesterday, um, uh, the awesome G only spawns in feasty foes, so it doesn't spawn in anywhere else in the map. So, let's have a look at these henchmen, the feasty foes themselves. So, Feasty Foes are basically just henchmen which use the RSMG gun, or rarities. So, what I mean by all rarities, again, if you didn't watch the video yesterday, um, is blue, uh, purple, and legendary. Those are the only rarities they have. Um, a green AR, um, a green AR, so, yep, yeah, that's simple. And a legendary compact SMG, but that's quite rare. So, a legendary compact SMG, obviously, that's quite good, um, but it's rare. Okay, so you have to take them out to make your way through the houses in the castle. Now, this is an interesting feature to this location. This location has a different loot pool from the rest of the Fortnite map. Let's go through these weapons. So, the RSMG, the assault rifle up to blue, so no purple and no legendary. The combat shotgun, not the legendary version, only the blue and purple. The pump shotgun, green, blue and purple. Bolt action sniper rifle, only the blue version. The heavy sniper rifle, but only purple with enough damage again to 120 body shot, but still does 300 in the head um, headshot. Tactical submachine gun, but in a, only a green rarity. And the drum gun, coming back to the game, but only with a 1% spawn rate and only green. The submachine gun, just a normal one, up to blue, and the, but the legendary one you can get from the Feasty Foes. And the tactical assault rifle uh, for blue and purple. Now, it's a different item loot pool as well. So, you have mini shield potions, um, big pots, shockwaves, rift to goes, grenades, damage traps, but these are enough to 100 damage, not 150 anymore. Bouncers, chugger splashes, medikit, bandages, impulse grenades, shadow bomb, the launch pad, and the water bucket. Now, the water bucket, you will see what you do with that, which is an, basically another concept that I made myself. So, yeah, you'll see what we need that for in a sec. So, vehicles, you have the drift board, but this time the drift board is with fuel, and then the ballers, but yeah, they're just normal. So, this is one of the really cool features of this location. Get to height. Throughout the game, the floor will become lava and start to rise. Use brick and metal because wood will burn and break you into the lava. Lava does 5 damage per second, and get to the top of the castle and raise the flag so the lava goes away. For now. So what you have to do to get rid of the lava is get to the top, lift the flag, so there'll be some button that you press, and then the lava will go away for the whole location. But it could come back later on in the game. Really cool thing here, hydration. So you're going to need water in this location. Otherwise your health will start going down and you will eventually die. And there are a couple ways to get water. Now this is where the water bucket comes into play. The first way is to lift the flag on top of the castle to get rid of the lava and to gain hydration. Another way is to use the water bucket and drink from it. The water bucket is an item that I showed in the item um, loophole. And the final way is to go into the water, into any wall in the location and press square to drink from it. Now, here we go, the bosses of this location. This is going to be the first location in Fortnite that has two bosses and not just one. 
So Sludge and Toxin, if you don't remember these guys, they're basically two Chapter 2 Season 1 skins from the alternate side of the good guys, so the bad guys. Um, so Sludge is basically the Red Ripley, and then Toxin is the um, Toxic like Remedy. So they are foes, so obviously the bosses are going to be evil. Sludge is loaded with a slurp launcher, um, so basically what the slurp launcher does is that um, every now and, a, now and again you can shoot a slurp barrel out of it and then destroy it to get 10 health or shield depending on what you need, whilst Toxin has the Dilophosaurus Transformer. Now you might have been wondering why there was a Dilophosaurus from Jurassic World Evolution on the thumbnail, well this is why. Because Toxin has the Dilophosaurus Transformer. So Toxin will transform into this Dilophosaurus. And then where you turn it into a Dilophosaurus and poison anyone within a 20 meter radius who isn't on your team. So obviously, let's say if your teammate was next to you, it's not going to hurt him. They're waiting for you in the castle. Don't be frightened. Now this is a rare chance, but it could happen. Ripley and Remedy. If these guys spawn in the castle, you are safe for the game. They will not attack and it will act as an NPC so you can talk to them. And if you're rooting for the foes, um, you can simply just start attacking one like pickaxe them and they'll just transform into their alternate side. So you can pick up their lovely goodies and obviously you know they are quite good goodies. And that's the end of the location. So I think this would be a really cool location to add honestly. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's a really cool location that I made here. Now, if you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like button, um, subscribe to Kir uh, I mean that Gaming Nerd, and comment down below any ideas I might try them out in the future. And without further ado, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!